as I indicated before, this is a, actually a charger and it also acts as a DC to DC converter. So right now I have it plugged in and it's charging the batteries. Now, the uh, problem is this currently is programmed to charge lead acid batteries. So I cannot use this uh, to completely charge the batteries because it will uh, put the voltage much too high. Um, lead acid batteries have a bulk charge which uh, is essentially being overcharging the lead acid batteries, that's the way they work. <clears throat> Whereas lithium ion, you do not do that at all, otherwise you will burn the cell. So, um, I cannot uh, leave this unsupervised because, uh, like I said, it'll burn the lithium ion batteries, but it is a, uh, currently the only charger I have available to me. I have a DC to DC converter um, that I've ordered from China, um, but I have to set it up. I have to, to get some power supplies on it and um, configure it all. Uh, even when it's set up, it's going to be much slower than this. So uh, for now, I'm going to do bulk, the bulk of the charge while supervising it. I have also have it plugged into a, uh, a watt meter. So it's currently pulling a little over 1200 watts. That'll also give me an idea of how many um, watt hours I'm able to charge, uh, push into the batteries. Also what I've done is I've put, I've gone through all the batteries and I've checked the, uh, with the balancer here. And currently this is the group of cells that have the uh, highest currently highest voltage so that way I'll keep uh, an eye on this when it gets around 4 volts uh, I may just disconnect the charger I can probably go up to 4.1 but occasionally I will be looking at this and also I'll, I'll check the other batteries just in case but right, currently this one is uh, uh, has the highest uh, voltages so we'll let that charge and see how long it takes to bring it up all right, I've now finished charging the uh, commander. Uh, took a little while because I had to regularly check on it. Uh, as I said before, this uh, charger is designed uh, or programmed for lead acid batteries and uh, if I let it go, it'll way overcharge the lithiums and damage them. So uh, occasionally I would come and check uh, the voltages. Um, I s finally ended up stopping it um, at around uh, 53.3 pack voltage. But uh, what I noticed is that when I turned the commander on, it would give a bunch of errors on the uh, the screen here. Now it's fine, because I, I think I burned off enough uh, voltage that it's, uh, it's not uh, giving errors anymore. So that uh, tells me that anything above uh, 53 is uh, risky. Uh, that's too high a voltage. Uh, right now it's reporting, let's see, 53.1 volts. So it's not complaining right now, that's fine. But in the future, I'll just uh, make sure that I don't charge over 53 volts. So I guess now I'm gonna finish putting the all the panels back on and um, I'll be ready to give it a good test drive. Unfortunately, uh, during the charge, uh, I had a uh, watt meter uh, put in, hoping, hoping to see how many uh, kilowatt hours that I, I used to charge the battery but it uh, I guess it overheated even though it's only 1200 watts and it stopped working so I just take this out and now I have no idea how many uh, kilowatt hours I put it into the battery pack so I guess I'll have no choice but to uh, just test it out uh, and see how much mileage I have so I'll uh, have to put it back together pack it up and bring it up to my cottage and then go for a test drive and hopefully uh, the range is going to be more than uh, what it was when it was new.